cancer and alopecia put their best face forward. Yeah, Ashley Williams is live with how they're using microblading to recreate realistic eyebrows. Hey, cool. Ashley. Yeah. Hi guys, good morning. So we've all heard of microblading, but microblading arts services, or mar I'm so sorry, microblading arts center, they are going over and beyond to make sure patients battling alopecia are feeling confident and they could, what the kids say, have eyebrows for the gods or make sure their eyebrows are on fleek. Joe, that's what some of the kids are saying these days. Now, this is great. You go by the name Mac. Um, why is this so important for you as a company to, to really touch the lives of those battling alopecia? We just like to help people feel comfortable in themselves. A lot of people have a lot of issues and a lot of confidence issues, and this is one thing to make them feel confident in themselves. Absolutely. Now, people might not understand the process of microblading, and throughout the morning, we're going to see from start to finish. Right now, Kev is being mapped out, but let's talk yeah. about this early stage, this first process mm -hmm. here. Um, basically, what she's doing, this is called mapping. This is where she measures the, eye, the eyebrows to make sure they're even on the face. Oh. Um, you don't look crooked or out of shape or mm -hmm. nice and even so absolutely okay I'm going to come on over and talk to Kevin now Kevin don't make any facial expressions because I don't want to be the reason why you have an eyebrow higher than the other okay <laughs> don't be that girl so don't be that real girl. neutral for me <laughs> Kev for you how does it feel to know that uh, Mac is stepping in to help with your eyebrows and I know that's something that's been important for you um, honestly I think it's absolutely incredible I mean I'm so excited and I'm Really glad that I have the opportunity to be helped by them. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're you're in the hands of professionals here. Here, but do you do you have an idea of how thick you want the eyebrows? Did you have any say on what your eyebrows are going to look like? Uh, I mean, she drew out an idea, and we kind of just based it off that. And we showed I showed her a photo of what my eyebrows used to look like 10 years ago, and oh. we kind of aged it appropriately and went from there. Wow, and so I've, you're so excited, I'm sure. Yeah, super excited. All right, now I've had my, my brows done too. Are you ready? I have to be now. No turning back. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it feels like, but I'm just saying, are you ready? Okay, get on to that. We have one more patient. So a little bit later, we'll meet the second patient in the other room. But Joe, this is so great. Again, we're going to be here all morning long. So we saw the mapping out process, and mm -hmm. we're going to be here until the very end. Also, we'll show you what um, Kev's eyebrows look like actually without you know, the plastic on it and without the yeah. drawing on it. So you can get an idea of that real before and after. Ashley, Thanks, how Joe. long is the process? Back over to you. Say it one more time. How well, long the is the, the process? process is, finish? It's about an hour and a half to two hours, correct? Oh, wow. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, about an hour okay. and a half to two hours. So that's why we have the opportunity to be here live on Good Day right to on. see that entire process. That play is out. really cool. Yeah. And it was really fun for you to have to say what the kids say now, now that you're uh, coming uh, ready. Uh, <laughs> Cut I know. For that. Thank, Thank you for, for that. making me feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> As Thanks, the kids say. Welcome to our world. <laughs> All right, the good scoop is expanding.